Shalom, shalom, family. Shalom. Yes, welcome to the channel. We are here in East Africa. Uh, we are a family of eight, and we are digital nomads. So, welcome to the channel, guys. We are journeying with us, and we want to let you know how things are heating up because it's very hot right now. It's it's hot. The sun. And in the world, everything is heating up. And also, it's cooling down because it's been a lot of rain. It's been a lot of snow. But it, you just really have to weather the storm. And right, you have to right. be chosen. Because we've been hearing some a lot of stories. We just heard a, a story just now where people's houses has been wiped out. You know, they're losing everything. Yeah. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about some stuff that people need to know. So stay tuned. So how to get to a place of safety when there is world war. So mm -hmm. I recently saw a video. I'm going to link it down below. I think I showed you this video because the guy, he put up this map. And so the transportation mm. and logistics in the Middle East right now is no, crazy. Yeah. And just so you know, this isn't the time to not pay attention to what's going on because we're in World War Three. People just don't want you to know that so that you don't freak out and get to a place of safety. Right. So. Apparently in the Middle East, you know, that's like a hot spot for a lot of transportation. They ship a lot of stuff from China to America. They ship a lot of stuff from, you know, different areas of the world. But with all of the violence and the attacks going on, there's missiles, there's bombs being launched by both the U.S., um, Iran, the Houthi rebels, all those different groups of people. And so instead of going from the Middle East to America through the Atlantic, from the Mediterranean to the Atlantic mm -hmm. Ocean, they now have to ship stuff from the Middle East or from America, mostly from the Middle East, though, because America doesn't create that many products they usually consume. So they're shipping this stuff all the way down, down towards the coast of South Africa. Then they're going back up to the Atlantic Ocean all the way up to get to America. Now, yeah. obviously, this is going to delay a lot of things in America. And so if you're in America and you're not farming, you don't have food, you're going to see an increase in the price of food food is already super expensive there's actually a poll that people did in the past year and they were saying that the food is the most expensive thing that they can't pay for beyond rent beyond utilities beyond you know the um, unemployment the food is the worst of it yeah and that's crazy to think about food 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 and it's gonna get worse yeah, yeah it's just gonna get worse so you gotta you guys have to pay attention um of what's going on because if they have to go all the way around africa to get to america the long long that's journey. a lot of a lot of oil which yeah the oil prices went up so that means that you know food is definitely going to be more expensive just everyday life is just going to be more expensive um yeah. so that's that's something to think about guys yeah because yeah. when people are in that circumstance, also the tensions rise in America yeah. because people are already so hostile. So they're just waiting to miss a few meals to go out and <laughs> fight. That's how America is. Like it's a fight, you know, it's a fight season <laughs> all the time. Anything can be a fight. And when people don't eat, yeah. they, right, they really. get angry. So, yeah, yeah you got to think about that because I think America, Americans is the only people that really eat like three, five times a day. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so if you really do miss a meal, you know, it's it's not going to be normal for you. Um so that's something to think about. I we we definitely know cuz we we we're, we're here in Africa and we see how people eat. It's not like they need um breakfast, the five course meal, brunch, lunch, a snack, dinner, then another late night snack or something. Yeah, they don't do that here. They might eat something, some 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 tea and 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 chapati, some tea and flatbread or something, and then they're good until the evening time, kind of. They might have a little snack in between the day, but it's not like they're eating full meals. Fresh fruit snack. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's something to think about. So, what's the solution? Because you know we can't tell you all these issues in the world without giving you a solution. What you should mm -hmm. be doing right now. You need to be looking out for the most peaceful countries in Africa. You need to look out for the least corrupt countries in Africa. And then you need to look at your background, look at you do, look at what you do, 
and see your transferable skills. So you can do something that we call mining for mm. gold, like pulling the golden nuggets out of your experience so that you can then go and take that, whether it's a work visa, an investor visa, a volunteer visa, a what else? Digital nomad visa, Student whatever visa. it is that works for you. Yeah. Find an opportunity online because people actually do post these opportunities for like English teachers, or maybe it'll be like a director of communications, a director of some sort. Um, I see a lot of accountants. They need accountants as well throughout Africa. Um, the easiest route, if you feel like you don't have skills right now, is to teach because you know English and you know things that other people don't know, even if you're in mm, customer like really, service. Really. You know something that people don't know, even though you think you don't. Yeah, that's that's why it's important to travel because you your your experience will show you like, man, this is a it's it's a lot that, you know, I can do. Yeah. Because these people don't know what I know. And it's not being better than anybody or anything like right, that. It's, it's just different walks you, of life. Yeah, you, you just know something that they need. Yep. Really. So I'm not sure if you guys heard, but they're talking about how America might be a third world country. I think it already is. In Can you believe ways. that? So <laughs> you guys better find you a nice little peaceful third world country to go to here in Africa, because for us, you see, you see what's behind us is a nice house. It's a nice. It's nice here. Yep. So and it's, it's cheaper than what inflation is way cheaper, way cheaper, cheaper than Europe, even though Europe is cheaper than America. Just come back to your ancestral lands. That's the main thing that's going to help you in these times because you look like the people. And then if you can speak the language or you go to a country that has English as the first language, it's very simple to yeah. fit in. It's super simple, especially if you wear similar clothes to what they wear and you don't try to look like a tourist, then you're going to blend in better. You're going to have a top notch quality of life. Your life could be so simple, but you first have to believe that it can even be this simple and take the steps to look at cheap flights, get, you know, whatever you need to get, get the visas, whatever information you need to get, now is the time to do it. Because once this war elevates to a newer level and troops yeah. are on the ground in America or bombs are escape. dropping, that'll be it. Yeah, you can't, because you can't swim across the Atlantic Ocean to go from the East Coast to Africa. Exactly. So you need to be prepared. Yeah. So guys, just prepare yourself for what's coming. And the best way to do that is to get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. So. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. We will talk to you in the next video. Shalom. Shalom.